Hey there, Foxy Gamers, and welcome back to Stardew Valley Min Max Run. Today, we just had to water this little spot of kale, and that's all we're gonna have to do. And once we go to the mines, we'll be able to pick up the stuff that we left off there, and it'll give us another sprinkler to use. I guess I was wrong about what day I planted the kale. It must have been the 18th because our kale is still not finished yet. I think maybe I just didn't quite do the math right in my head, but that's okay. We'll just have to deal with it. Just as an FYI, this episode is being recorded a little bit ahead of time in order to kind of save some of the, the workload off of me and help me prepare a little bit better. So if I'm not responding to something that you commented on in the last video, I promise you I'm not trying to ignore you. It's just that what you said is actually in the future from the time of me recording this. And unfortunately, I'm not a person who can see into the future. So I will be sure to respond to you in the comments but maybe won't be. I might be messing something up this episode, is what I'm saying. Something that you pointed out to me, I'm going to be doing wrong, because I haven't read your comments yet. So, you'll just have to yell at me from the other side of your computer screen as I screw up royally. Alright, well, the good news is, we have our farm pretty much covered. I... The, the kale, it, it just, it has to be done growing tomorrow. It absolutely has to be. I mean, if it's not, it's still not the end of the world because we did buy our parsnips ahead of time, so we don't have to worry about Pierre being open tomorrow. But I just, if it's not ready tomorrow, then I really screwed up, guys. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, that frees up today to go back to the mines. For real this time, we're going to really give it a go on getting down to level 120 as we don't have to make any more sprinklers right now. But let's double check here. We've got one, two, three trees that could have tappers on them. So let's see if we have enough mats for that. I believe we do. We've got enough for three more, so I'm just going to peruse around the farm for a minute and see where else we could plop these down. One up here, obviously, over by our farmhouse. At some point, I am going to be wanting to put in a, a barn or a shed up here in order to uh, make space for our preserves jars, but we've got some time before we have to do that. So these trees should get at least one oak resin for us before we have to chop them down. And then hopefully the other trees over here will be fully grown and we'll have a nice little tree farm ready to go for us. All right, we've got some salads and green algae. We are good to go spend some time down at the mines. It is really quite unfortunate that we don't have a furnace yet because I would really like to stay on top of making coal. I don't want to go over to Clint and buy the coal. I just really don't think it's worth it. I would much rather buy the wood from Robin than buy the coal. That's going to save us 50 gold per coal, which really adds up, especially if you're using that coal to make your preserves jars, which is eight coal per preserves jar. So you're basically saving 400 gold by buying the wood from Robin and turning it into coal yourself rather than going over to Clint. So do note that you should not buy coal from Clint. I think it's in year two where it actually becomes more cost effective to buy the coal from Clint instead of the wood from Robin. But by year two, you shouldn't have any sort of problem getting the coal that you need. I'm starting out the day with a little bit of farming for iron since we're obviously running very low on iron as well as coal because the best place to try and farm for coal is by going to the ice levels. There's a good chance you're going to encounter some of those dust sprites 
and they have a very high chance of dropping some copper for you. I do want to try to get down to the next elevator if I can today, but I figured by doing the ice levels first that we could also get some more stone, and then that way if we run into the same problem that we ran into last time where there was a level that we could have gone through if we had the stone, or I guess maybe we did go through it. We did have just enough stone, maybe, but we could encounter two levels with stone and then I would be out of luck. So maybe by farming the ice levels a little bit first, I'll have enough stone for two staircases. I guess the other thing I realized that would be good to have a bit higher of a foraging skill is I do believe that's how we get the crafting recipe for lightning rods. And once spring or summer rolls around, that's when we're gonna start getting thunderstorms. And if I don't have lightning rods for that, I am going to be one sad cookie. And if you're wondering what a sad cookie is, so am I. I do want to hang on to any jade that I find in the mines. That's not something I've done before in the past, but I realized that using a jade to purchase a staircase from the desert trader is actually a really good value because a staircase is a hundred stone, which is essentially, if I'm doing the math correctly in my head, that's 2,000 gold, and a jade is definitely not worth 2,000 gold. So it's a very good value to trade in your jade for a stone staircase instead of buying stone to turn into the staircase. Woo! All right, we made it to level 100, guys. I think we'll make it back to our house in time. Let's see here. Making sure I got everything I need. We're saving rubies, saving jade, but we can sell all this stuff. And we'll take that wood with us. We'll drop off this these shoes here. We're gonna just like keep a collection of things that we'll eventually go sell at the guild for a little bit of extra money, but it's not worth going over there unless we have a whole bunch of things to sell, which actually we do have a, a fairly decent amount of things right now, but obviously we can't do that today as the guild is closed and we wouldn't have time anyway without uh, passing out. So I think that's the end of our day today. It went pretty well, I feel. We did get to level 100, as well as getting a bunch of bars, some iron and some coal. Not enough, unfortunately, to make ourselves any more preserves jars, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and drop this stuff off and hop inside as quickly as possible. We just made it. Well, I've... I've had closer calls than this where I've like literally passed out on the inside of my front door. I'm sure many of you have seen it. Well, that was not near as much money as I thought we were going to make for some reason. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I thought this stuff sold for more than it did. I suppose we found like rubies and jade, but I decided not to sell those things. Okay. Oh, I should have made a sprinkler so that we didn't have to water that last little plot of crops, but oh well. What is our weather tomorrow? Beautiful sunny day. I guess at this point, I don't really need to check the weather anymore because I'm not worried about my watering can getting upgraded. It's just uh, a matter of like, oh, are we going to be fishing or are we going to be doing something else? Anyway, as I suspected, our kale is done today, so that's good news. It's really fun farming the crops that you use aside to collect them with. It's my favorite thing to do. I just want to make a huge plot of like a thousand kale just so that I can run around and do that. Kale or wheat or amaranth or any of those that require a site, that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> 
but also not the most money valuable thing that we could do so um, probably not going to do it this run that'll have to be another game and then you know that could like be posted on oddly satisfying or whatever that would be pretty fun so planting all of our kale seeds today and of course watering that one last crop but today should be the last day that we have to do that well, since today is the flower dance festival, we're not going to be able to drop off any tools or go to piers or anything like that. So, to the mines we go. I'm going to try to get down to level 120. We'll see if we can do that today. We've got quite a bit of time. We don't have a huge amount of stone available for making staircases, but hopefully we don't run into too much trouble. Now I have several tool upgrades that I'm going to be want wanting to do as soon as possible. I'm actually a little disappointed with myself in not getting them done sooner. I feel like I've done a better job of upgrading tools in the past than I have in this series, but that's kind of what happens, I guess, when I'm playing these days, like, several days apart in, like, real life, that I kind of sometimes fall out of the groove of what I'm doing and forget that like, oh yeah, I should do this. Oh yeah, I should do that. So that's one of those things that I've definitely forgotten from doing like delayed playing. Cause in the past, any of these min-max runs I've done, I basically just like sit down and I play Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley all day until my day is done and see how far I get. And it's like, I don't have very much time in between when I'm not playing the min-max, so I do a better job that way. So I guess if you're playing more than two days at a time, you might experience the same thing where you're going to do better than me. Also, I realize that we're not anywhere close to unlocking the bus stop, so I acknowledge that this is not the best min-max run out there. There are many people that can do a better job at this than I can, but I'm just not hardcore enough. I want to do something a little bit more relaxing that anybody can achieve, that anybody can probably achieve better than me, but maybe this will give you some ideas that you hadn't thought of before. That's all I can hope for. You'll probably notice that at this point, I do actually start attacking the enemies more in these levels. And that's mostly because I got down to the important places that I need to be for getting all the ores available in the regular mines. The other reason is because I just have a better weapon now and it's a lot easier to kill them. And I suppose the third reason is because I'm actually going to want materials from these enemies before too long. We need the bat wings to make the uh, lightning poles. We'll need the slime for making oil makers, if that's something we decide to do. I'm not sure yet. Uh, and we'll need the solar and void essence for things like jewelry, as well as bombs. We need the solar essence for the mega bombs. And I don't believe I have too many of those right now. I made a rather unfortunate mistake in this run today where I decided that I didn't want to clear all the rocks on one of the levels. And then I used a staircase to go down one. And lo and behold, it was a monster level. And like a dum-dum, I should have like gotten 10 more rocks before going down because then I would have had another staircase. So, don't make my mistake. I say that a lot, guys. I make a lot of mistakes. Do you make as many mistakes as I do? I sure hope not, because it feels bad, man. But yeah, I basically decided to forfeit my trying to get down to level 110 today, because after looking at all those monsters, I just kind of, like, noped out of there, because there were a lot. And... I didn't feel like killing all those. I didn't I didn't feel like 
it was going to be worth my time and energy and possibly my death as I came very close to dying or getting knocked out, whatever you want to call the Stardew Valley quote, death. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna end up the day with doing some more foraging around on the farm, which is actually honestly kind of a dumb thing because I don't have a glow ring yet and it's really hard to see what I'm doing and see whether I'm tackling like baby trees or weeds. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but at this point there's not a lot I need from the mines right now until I have enough coal to make up for that. And the best way for me to get coal is foraging. The other reason it's advantageous for me to go through the farm at this point and clear some things out is that way we can allow our trees to start dropping seeds and grow some more trees. Because early on in the game, there's so much junk on your farm that there's not a lot of room for the trees to sprout saplings. So by going around, clearing out all the stumps and the rocks and the fallen logs, it's a good way to give your trees room to breathe and that way you'll have some more wood available at your fingertips. Part of me really wants to upgrade my axe before my pickaxe so that we can go to the secret forest and get a bunch of hardwood there. It's not even the hardwood that I care about, it's the XP of chopping down the hardwood stumps. But I do believe <laughs> it's going to be smarter to upgrade our pickaxe first because hopefully before too long, we'll start heading down to the desert. If I can ever manage to actually make it down to level 120, that is, and get enough money to unlock the bus stop. Well, how did we do with our foraging? Did we at least get to level four? Let's find out. We did that is good news. Please tell me that's the one with the charcoal kiln. I can't remember if that's all we need or not. Please, drum roll. No, it's, no, oh wait, that's farming, derp. Farming, combat, and foraging, yay, charcoal kiln. So happy for that. All right, well that means we're about to start making a whole bunch of coal so that we can make our preserves jars and that's really gonna start raking in the money. As you could see there, our strawberries gave us 1,100 gold just for those two preserves jars, which is pretty great. And even though I, I do feel like, yes, it's important for me to open up the desert as quickly as possible, I think as if we can get our preserves jars rolling, like, triple, at least triple the amount of preserves jars we have right now, then that'll be a nice little supply because we have a lot of strawberries and now a lot of kale. Oh, I forgot to set down my sprinkler. Whoops. Uh, a lot of kale. So that will really help us trickle in the gold to supply money for bombs and all that sort of thing. But that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And until next time, stay foxy.